So whenever you see a problem like this, what you want to do is make the denominator a real number. And to achieve this, you multiply this term by the complex conjugate of 2 minus 3i. For you guys who don't know what the complex conjugate means, it means if you have 2 minus 3i, the complex conjugate is 2 plus 3i. All the complex conjugate does is change the minus to a plus, or if this was a plus, we'll change it to a minus. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the top, we will get 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 4 times 3i is 12i, plus 5i times 2 is 10i, and plus 5i times 3i is 15i squared. Remember, i squared equals to negative 1. So it would be 5i times 3i is 15i squared, so minus 15. On the bottom, we have 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3i is 6i, minus 6i, so it becomes 0. After we have minus 3i times 3i, so we have negative 9i squared. So it would be plus 9, because negative 9i squared is just 9. So if we clean up the numerator, we have 8 minus 15 is minus 7. And 12i plus 10i is 22i. And for the denominator, we have 4 plus 9 is 13. So now if we want to split up into our real and imaginary parts, we have the real part equals to negative 7 on 13. And the imaginary part equals to 22 on 13. When we consider the imaginary part, we don't consider the i, we just look at the term here. And that's our answer.